Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni, the great Malabite. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Good morning, Rufa. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Victoria. Tundu. I'm Kua Biola. In <laughs> all, pink, all pink on a Monday morning. Now, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, Soludo in apparent victory in Anambra poll. Election to hold in Hihiala tomorrow. Yes, other newspapers are reporting this story. Also, the Vanguard newspaper, Anambra, Soludo, Ozibo, Ubafet, hang in on Hihiala. INEC postpones election in Hihiala with 148, 407 registered votes to November 13. That's tomorrow. Now, the leadership newspaper, INEC declares Anambra governorship poll inconclusive to hold supplementary, that the leadership newspaper, to hold supplementary um, election in Hiala local government tomorrow. Abga candidate wins in 18 local government areas, party lot PMB, President Muhammad Buhari for non-interference. CSOs, civil society organizations, advocate use of technology in future elections. Yes, inconclusive election. I thought I heard that for the last time some time ago. But here we are with another inconclusive election. Yes, INEC came up with a new device to register to, of course, accredit voters. But the hiccups and hitches we heard on Saturday all over the place, hiccups, hitches, and that was not good enough because INEC gave the impression that they were set and ready to go. I haven't tried that device in the Isoko South constituency. One House of Assembly election in Delta State. INEC declared it 97% um, success. Perhaps they went to sleep. I haven't tried it in a very small constituency. But come tomorrow, the election has to be concluded. Security agencies, well, they were on point to a great extent because there were no reports of voters being intimidated by political thugs and other miscreants on election day. But INEC will have to go back to the drawing board. Because if with all the security agencies in place and you are dealing with one state, Anambra is not the biggest of states in terms of land mass. So you can race from one end of Anambra to another in one hour. Yet, configuration of these machines, INEC officials fondling and battling to use these machines. Machines failing to recognize your face, you will be asked to smile. If you have a smiling face like Tundu, you will have to squint whether the <laughs> machine will recognize your face. But Yes, technology we must continue to use, but INEC has to do the needful. Train your staff better, call your vendors, call those who supply you this machine, and see how it can work efficiently. Perhaps in future, INEC, the need to test this machine in every nook and cranny of Nigeria before you can thumb your chest that you have a silver machine that can do the magic. But it's good that we are bringing in technology into the election. Come tomorrow, the election will be concluded in a number of states, and a winner will be declared. But clearly, as <coughs> the results have shown, Charles Soludo of the, of the All Progressive Grand Alliance is in clear lead. I haven't won 18 of the 20 local governments declared so far. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper federal government moves to stop cross-border rice import. 
whatever happened to our rice revolution. These days, I see a lot of imported rice all over the place. But perhaps we have to do more to stop rice coming from across the border. Despite the closure of the border for a long period, we've not been able to deal with that menace, as it were. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, disquiet as customs officer, a stout motorist on highways. We are made to pay between 10,000 and 150,000 Naira motorists. Patrol Lega, show proof of extortion. NCS, the Nigerian Customs Service spokesman, is asking, show them proof. Well, we know the problem. Now, the Daily Independent newspaper, federal government, CBN, the Daily Independent newspaper, federal government, CBN, consider under the table Naira devaluation. Rise in forest reserve, short-term FX market fix. Analysts say devaluation, a temporary solution. Naira needs to float. That's what some experts are saying. And if we just look at the Business Day newspaper, Business Day, Afrobeats pay Nigerians, Nigerian artists as the world listen. Yes, nearly 45 years ago, after Fela Kuti's debut Zombie, the album that gave the world a new music genre, according to Afro, yes, that music, that uh, album changed the beats as Fela used to know it. And today, the heirs, if you will, not necessarily his children, are reaping the benefit. Afrobeat being the father, the grandfather, and the precursor of the precursor of Afrobeats of today, which our young ones, the whiskeys of this world, the Bonner boys are reaping bountifully. Thanks to Fela. Now the foreign newspapers quickly. I just take one foreign newspaper. The Times of UK, Doctor Seth to be barred from jobs in richer areas. Plan will force GPs to work in deprived areas. Yes, GPs will be barred from taking new jobs in affluent areas to force them to work in deprived towns in the UK. Nationally, there is one full-time doctor to every 2,289 patients, a ratio that has been worsening over the years in a place like Blackpool North, you have 4,480 4, doctors, no patients, to one GP. That is not good enough to correct the system. Yes, a regulator will be taxed with restricting doctors where they can set up their practice to improve health in poorer communities. Ruben Rufai and Tundu, over to you. So inequality just exists everywhere, doesn't it? Does. it? And that's just really the point. And to the other story that you shared just now about rice. Yes, rice still coming in from across the border. What was the point of the border closure? I've asked for the opt-in time, I'm asking <laughs> once again. Have we ever seen a report on what actual effects it had? Well, it created some problems for we Nigeria know that for sure. and our neighbors. We know that for sure. It created more problems. Yes. And the Ghanaians are still that? not forgiving us because it blocked their goods from getting to as far as Nigeria, and from traders from buying from Nigeria, taking to Ghana. In fact, the Benin Oils are worse off. So it, it prompted the Benin Oils to look inward into their economy and try to reduce that trade they would normally have with Nigeria. So he forced them to look inwards, and they're like, if these people can do this to us, then. But apart from that, what is most important for me in all of this is, do we even learn lessons at all? I don't think we do. We think, we, we, we think, oh, shutting the border will spoil local production. Is that the case? Well, to make market for the local production. Because at that time, we're hearing of lake rice, abakaliki rice all over the place, and this imported rice coming to... Where is, where is lake rice? Well, I've not seen it in a long while. Neither even, in, even at the peak of that campaign, uh, I looked for where it was all over rice? the place. Anyway, if uh, you have wanted your assessment of the uh, gubernatorial election in uh, Anambra, but we don't seem to have more time. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get a chance to talk about it again when the people of uh, Ihala local government area uh, go to the polls. Well, thank you, Mr. Fanny. Yes.